Cal. So. I think Kelly's been excited for this day from the first day she met Kevin. When I aggressively went up to you at Champions, I had no idea I had just met my future husband. I'm just kidding. I did know. Kevin and me are sitting there, and Kelly shows up. Whatever she was drinking, I wanted some. <laughs> so Kev, for some reason, who usually is always talkative, doesn't say much when Kelly's there. She goes up to the bar. He, he pops his head up, looks at me. He's like, she's nice. She's got some bombs. <laughs> <laughs> She definitely thought that she blew her chance with him, but thankfully, Kelly seemed to have the same effect on Kevin. A couple minutes later, I got a text from Kelly Meltner. Your friend's hot. I look around, the rest of the champs realize I'm not friends with anyone else here, so I think she's talking about him. So, I gave Kevin a number, next day Nova was born. <laughs> Cal, you look absolutely amazing. Your pretty eyes, that beautiful smile. Those were the third and fourth things that I <laughs> immediately was attracted to <laughs> when we first met. But, <laughs> but the more time that we spent together, it became clear that you were the, the, one of the funniest, kindest, most selfless, caring people that I've ever met. And I knew I loved you early on in our relationship. What I didn't know is that a whole four months later, you changed my life forever. <laughs> it's better than we planned it. This rising sun was meant for you and I. We see it now. The story comes together. Beauty lives in every chapter. Kevin. I often say I'm not sure what I did to deserve you, and you laugh it off, and you make a joke, but it's true. I really have no idea what I did to deserve you. You have shown me love that I was convinced I was never going to find. I feel like I have known you my whole life, and in all my lifetimes before this one. And I know we will find each other in every lifetime after this one, because we are meant to be. It all worked out how it was supposed to, and now here we are today with our two beautiful girls, surrounded by all of our closest friends and family to put the finishing touches on our story. I finally get to make you my wife, and I'm positive that Kathy and Brian will be more than happy with my choice. On behalf of Kevin and Kelly, I'd like to welcome you to their special day. To me, knowing that you're a successful member of a team is one of the greatest feelings there is. Most successful teams work in synergy to achieve a common goal. It requires roles, trust, loyalty, compromise, concessions, adaptability, dedication, hard work, and lots of love. This team and firm clearly make each other feel safe, comfortable, and complete. Get that close yet. I'm sorry, I'm locked in. <laughs> so from this day and all the rest of our lives, I promise to finish any task I start and not leave it to you to finish. I promise to always decide what we're having for dinner before you send me the daily, yo, what's for dinner text. <laughs> I promise to be the best mother I can be to our perfect daughters. We may have done it the non-traditional way, baby house, baby wedding. 
but I wouldn't change a thing, and I wouldn't want to do this life with anyone else. It's my honor and privilege to pronounce these two very, very special people, husband and wife. One more. I need one more. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Clark. Time was told we were scared the most of these things we can't control. No. I think that Kelly and I agree that the most important quality our future husbands had to have is they had to fit in with our family. Have a bald head. <laughs> and have a bald head. It makes me so happy to know that Nova and Zoe will have your relationship to role model what true love should really look like. There truly was not a single doubt in my mind that Kelly and Kevin were the couple that was meant to be together forever. Kelly, you and your amazing family, coupled with the beautiful family they've created with Kevin, complete that bald man. <laughs> we love you to the moon and back. I couldn't be happier for the both of them and the family they've created. As a good as a brother he's been for me, I know he'll be a better father and husband. Mr. and Mrs. Kevin George Clark. As your husband, I promise to always protect you and care for you and our girls. And I promise to always be there for you and love you unconditionally through any challenges life may throw at us, even if you're drunk and refuse to get out of my car. <laughs> I promise to always be faithful and be the best father and husband I can possibly be. Lastly, I promise to annoy the shit out of you for as long as I'm here to do so. It's for the love in your heart. for you wherever and whenever you need me. I promise to be loyal to you every day for the rest of our lives. And I promise to love you even on the tough days, even on the long days. My love for you will never waver. I love you, Kevin. I love you.